module 133 and we are going to study linear production function a production function that expresses the change in the output for one unit change in the input in the at manner that for every unit change in input there is a constant change in the output that will be the linear or what we can say for one unit change in input whatever will be the change in the output that remains constant or the same in other words when we explain that the output level q is the function of capital and labor and here capital and labor they have very peculiar marginal productivities of alpha and beta in the sense that we are going to say that the output is equal to alpha multiplied by l plus beta multiplied by the k so here alpha and beta are particularly marginal productivities of labor and capital when we express this type of the production function we can say that we are having the isoquants in the form that they are in the straight lines that has to be expressed in a manner that whenever we are going to switch capital and labor in between they are having the same rate of technical substitution or the rate of technical substitution between capital and labor it is constant throughout that line in these type of the production function we see that mostly there will be similar slope throughout and that straight line it can be of various uh, nature it can be of less slope or the other but whatever it will be maintained it will remain constant and when we explain in the form of the scalability or when we have to explain in the form of the returns to scale so when we multiply the inputs with any factor that is either k or either t we are very expressively explain that the output is also going to increase by the same factor t so that production function also exhibits constant returns to scale property so when various isoquants of a production function they are parallel to each other then we can express the slope of that isoquant in the form that will be equal to beta divided by alpha and as the beta is related to the marginal productivity of the capital that is mostly expressed on the y axis so here it will be explained in the form of minus beta by alpha so such isocon map is mostly expressed in the form of the straight line but actually in reality it is very difficult that we are having this type of the production function in real life hum uh, mathematically to isko explain kar sakte hain hum graphically explain kar sakte hain lekin actual life mein ye bahut namumkin hai kyunki aise production function mein sirf do inputs aur unke darmiyan substitutability bhi is form mein ke only they both can be substituted with each other real life mein hona bahut mushkil hai ab agar hum ispe dekhein to kyunki uh, rate of technical substitution constant hai along the straight line और क्योंकि रेट ऑफ टेक्निकल सब्सिट्यूशन ही वो मेन फैक्टर है जिसके तहत हम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सब्सिट्यूशन को कैलकुलेट करते हैं और इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ सब्सिट्यूशन को जब हम कैलकुलेट करते हैं तो चूंकि रेट ऑफ टेक्निकल सब्सिट्यूशन जो हमारे पास इसमें कांस्टेंट आएगा तो जो डिनोमिनेटर है वो इस में इस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन में अगर हम देखें तो वो हमारे पास एक इस फॉर्म में हमारे पास आ रहा है जीरो सो वेन that constant will be divided by 0 so there will be the product that will be the infinity ab agar isko hum graph ki shakal mein explain kare so it means there are one two or the three various isoquants and these isoquants all are exhibiting linear production function in the form that the slope of this line is equal to minus beta by alpha and whatever the formation is here 
that is expressed in the way and if we have to explain the expansion path. So, it is possible that if we have to check the optimal point here or here or here, then the expansion path will be equal to this. If expansion optimal points are here and here, then the expansion path will be equal at this and if our optimal points are here, so we can have our expansion path at this. So, there is possibility that this type of the production function they may express various types of the expansion path, but they all expansion path will be originating from the this origin and they will be expressing the constant returns to scale.